Hi, this is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creation. Today we're going to be experimenting with some new techniques for me. Uh, I'm using an old canvas here, and what you see going down right now is PPG Multi Pro, my pillow paint. Uh, it is my preferred go to uh, at this point. I love the, the consistency of it, and the price is exactly right. I've got my, uh, my swiping tool. And I'm putting down a swath of dioxazine purple. This is a, this is a Josonia product. Highly pigmented paint. I'm just gonna get a nice thin layer. Don't really want it very thick at all. Just want it nice and thin so I can spread across it. You'll see what I'm gonna do with it in just a minute. This is a continuation of my experiment into the faux pillows. I'm just gonna Get a little bit of a bigger, uh, bigger area here covered up. Our next color down is this little piggy's waterfall. It started out as a dry pigment. I wet it with uh, some Josonia Vinage and mixed it with my pouring medium. Followed by Rosé. It's a new pigment to my box. Uh, it is a beautiful pink. And also, just like the last one, started out as a pigment or a mica powder. And when you're working with mica powders, you need to be very careful. I suggest wearing a respirator, at least a mask. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my swiping tool again. I'm gonna uh, put a nice uh, even coat of lamp black on the back and cover up the paint lever you see in front of you. And the reason for this is we're gonna create a faux pillow or a false pillow uh, just to uh, be able to create some depth with the colors when they get pulled up after swiping. You'll see more of that a little bit later. Now, my goal on this is to get as thin a coat as I can, uh, while at the same time making sure that the paint is covered. If you'd like to know how I put together my paints and my pigments, how I make my pouring medium, or how I uh, make my cell activators. You can find all that information in my 101 how-to series, and it's listed uh, above and also down in the description below. So check it out. Process takes some time. Uh, you really don't want to rush it. You want to make sure that the, uh, that the faux pillow actually looks like the base color. So it's not worth rushing the process. I'm just making sure all the color is covered. And I have enough of the uh, faux pillow to make it all the way out to the edges. Okay, I'm getting ready to start another experiment. Uh, this is Inferno, and it's by This Little Piggy, but I've mixed it up as a cell activator. And started out as a micro powder. I wet it this time with a little bit of alcohol, and then with my uh, some matte gel by Liquitex. Uh, I'm gonna make a video about this, and I'll, I'll put it in my 101 series. Uh, it's interesting interesting process. This is techno. Uh, and again, mixed exactly the same way. Both of these are uh, neon colors. And against the black, they are pretty amazing. I'm actually very surprised 
at how well they worked as cell activators. I'm going to do more of this. And I'll, uh, like I said, I'll make a video and it'll be in, in the how-to very soon. I'm trying here not to pull up too much of the pillow paint. I don't mind the pillow paint coming up, but I don't want it to be the predominant color. I'm going to make another small puddle and repeat this process. I really just love that uh, Inferno and the Techno on the black background. It just, it's pretty special. This is my large straw and uh, it has helped me be able to blow, blow out the centers of my blooms, uh, it, it's it's a godsend. I'm going to put down another puddle here and I'm going to repeat this process again. I just want to create some interest, give myself something to work with. As bright as, this ne as this, these neons look here, they're even brighter in person. And under a black light, they take on a life of their own and actually glow in the dark. Okay, I'm going to pick up my tool and I'm going to go underneath the colors and th in this case underneath some cells and I'm going to pull them out. You kind of stretch those cells out and, and create different, uh, different pattern than what's there. This is actually very intentional, uh, creating, creating some flow and interest. You can see that I'm now starting to get some of those under colors to pull up and uh, give you a sense of depth. Uh, when I spin this out, those, it'll even look more obvious as to what I'm doing. This part of the process takes some time and time will tend to uh, kind of get away with you on this because it's, it's really, for me, it's the zen of the whole process. Okay, I'm gonna make another puddle here. And I'm gonna do something different with it. Okay, I'm putting down the neon, uh, the, the techno first, and the infernal on top of that. I'm going to blow this down, but instead of doing it the way you saw before, I'm going to get a splatter effect. Just by giving a, a quick puff, and you get splatter all over the place. Um, this is the first time I've tried this, and I am going to experiment with it, with it a lot more because it just, uh, it created some things that I just, uh, I'm 
really intrigued by. Now, I cannot claim credit to this. This is a, uh, a technique that uh, Jessica Win- Winterstrom at Winterstrom Art is working with. If you're not familiar with Jessica's work, I really do suggest going and checking her. Her work is amazing and nothing short. This is where everything starts to open up. It spreads out and the colors that were brought up from below will start to really, really show through. Um, I'm needing to, to get the paint away from that one side and cover the other side. So I took the canvas off center in order to be able to use centrifugal force to move the paint in the direction I want it to go. I'm looking, I'm actually hoping that uh, the patterns and the cells that I have uh, don't get distorted more than they are now because uh, I'm liking the, 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 the composition of this piece. So now it's just a matter of getting the canvas covered and the paint off the sides. And so I spun for quite some time here. I actually had to spin. I had to actually spin quite a bit harder than I normally would. I think I'm about done spinning and liking what I'm seeing. So I'm going to take you down for the flyover. I'm really enjoying the splatter that I got with this, this technique. Thank you for being here today. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's absolutely free and it really does help. It's my goal to put out at least two videos per week, and I am hoping you're finding them both enjoyable and useful. Thanks for being here. Bye now.